I just received a phone call from my friend Nixon Parmisa, the assistant chief of the Kitangela area, just south of the Nairobi National Park. He told me that a lion had attacked a homestead and killed a sheep. I'm on my way there now to find out what happened. A lion jumped, or uh, I think it's a female lion, jumped over the fence, killed one uh, big sheep, ram, and then, um, you know, people were able to come out very quickly, so it jumped over the fence, disappeared. Yeah, the guy tried to shoot. He missed. Yeah, then he makes the, 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 the drawer, and then the guy was terrified and back into the house. Yeah. So the zebra over here has a, a scratch on its rump. Clearly it's already been um, attacked by a lion, but it obviously escaped. The lion has obviously killed other, other zebras in the area. We've seen some kills, but for some reason, she's also going for cattle and sheep. So we're gonna go and have a look at what's happened. Lions are the number one attraction to Kenya, but their numbers have declined by 85% in the last 20 years due to conflict with people. Today, fewer than 2,000 lions remain in the country, and they're declining rapidly. This lioness got into the compound. There were probably other lions around. She was probably expecting them to join her. But the noise from all the different families that came to rescue the, the uh, sheep caused the lion to run. She jumped over three fences. Oh, here's the, here's the uh, remains of the sheep. Nixon, how, uh, how much of a loss is it for the family to lose a ram like this? Yeah, you know this is a breeding male. And uh, you can even see uh, the breed. It's a black head which is a dopa, and the dopa is a more, uh, uh, it's a more upgraded one, it's not like the red Maasai. So this one uh, is a big male, it goes between 10,000 and 15,000. <laughs> Is the number of cases of lion attacks increasing? Yeah, yeah, every day. And uh, especially normally at this time, normally during the wet season, like now, uh, we always have the, the cases of uh, conflict with the lion. But the reason is because mostly the wildlife move away, most of the herbivores they move away from the park. But it's funny because now the most of the herbivores are here, yeah. they're closer to the park, and they still go to, for, life, to, to for livestock. Life. Yeah. People are living with wildlife, but there's a cost of living with wildlife. Yeah. How can we help? So with the Friends of Nairobi National Park, we have an idea maybe to help with the boomers. So lions cannot penetrate inside the boomers. Mm -hmm. And we have them in Masai Mara. They're very, very effective. Just to strengthen what you already have. Yeah. Then the lions cannot get in. But then you have to look after the cattle when they're outside. So we also do some training on how to make sure the cows don't get attracted or the sheep or the goats. Because obviously you have to stay here, you have to live with these animals. Yeah. And we want to keep the lions, but we also don't want to affect people yeah. in a negative way. Yeah.